we're going to be comparing Bravo Studio to Softer. In this video, you'll learn number one, the features, number two, the pricing, and number three, the purpose. And at the end, I'm going to tell you which one I would choose. What is Bravo Studio? Bravo Studio is a platform where you can create prototypes and validate your ideas with ease. And you can be using the power of Figma and Adobe XD to do this. What is Softer? Softer is a platform where you can create progressive web apps, websites, and other things all within minutes with Airtable. Some of the features of Bravo is you can start connecting it with Airtable, Zapier, and Webflow to name a few. Now, the way that you can connect it is you're going to be pulling different information APIs. So that just means two different uh, systems talking to each other. But now you can start utilizing the power in the databases of things like Airtable to power your app. Also, too, keep in mind, you can actually publish your app to the App Store as well. So you can do this to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store using Bravo Studio. If you're interested in different animations like Lottie's, GIFs, you can be using this in Bravo as well. And they have an extensive library to get started with Bravo. So you can learn how to do it. With Softer, what I would look at is the different kind of use cases. There's so many things you can do with Softer. You can create internal tools, marketplaces, online communities. The list goes on and on. I would really focus on what you're trying to accomplish because you can just go down a rabbit hole with Softer because there's so many different use cases. What I use Softer a lot of times when I'm trying to validate a marketplace and before I scale using things like ShareTribe and others, in just a few minutes, I can create marketplaces to test out ideas like Airbnb, Upwork, and similar services, I can do that in minutes with Softer. Also to note, because it uses Airtable, as you log in and go through Softer, in just a few clicks, it syncs with your, uh, your Airtable account and you can get started using their database. For pricing, Bravo starts for free, but there's something to note. It allows you to start for free, but it only allows you to share three per app. Now, this allows you to validate your idea, really build out that MVP, that minimal viable product before you start scaling. If you're gonna be going for unlimited sharing, unlimited projects, unlimited builds, then that's gonna be 19 euros a month. But I like the free plan because this allows you to move with purpose. If it can't validate and you're not getting paying customers, I just wouldn't pay for the other paid plans personally, because that allows me to move with purpose, validate, still use a lot of the features from Bravo, but then expand when I have a product market fit. For softer, it starts with zero, zero dollars. You can use unlimited applications starting for free. You can have one collaborator and you can have one custom domain. That's really interesting because a lot of times most platforms will if you want a custom domain, you have to pay for it. They are really allowing you to start your brand off in software for free and then scale from there. Also, it allows you to test out a paywall for payments, the migration with Airtable, up to 200 records. So it allows you to start out, start getting some data, start getting users, and then from there, you can transition into the starter or professional plans. It allows you to have increased access to data or a database. For example, for Airtable, it goes to 1,000 records if you're doing the starter for 24, and for professional, it goes to 10,000 records. Also too, with professional, you can have user roles. So if you're trying to create a robust community where you're having admin roles, editors, all those things, you can change those types of roles with the professional plan. It also comes with the starter and for the professional, if I'm trying to do custom code with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I can start using that with the starter and professional plan of Softer. Next, we're going to be looking at purpose. When we're looking at Bravo and, and Softer, what I would really focus on is what are you trying to do with your app? Are you trying to create an MVP or are you trying to have more creative control over your platform such as Bravo. Bravo, I would say if you're a graphic designer, you wanna have very specific animations, you wanna have full control of your MVP and your prototype for your app, I would go with something like Bravo. But softer on the other hand, if you're trying to move quickly, you don't have a lot of experience with API calls, uh, those things confuse you or you're like, I just wanna test if this is a great idea and I need a great looking site. Softer is going to be something for you in that direction. So it depends on your purpose in what you're trying to do that will allow you to decide which platform would be best for you. Which platform would I choose? 
This really comes down to your intention. What are you trying to do? If you're trying to make sure that you're having a app where you can now have a prototype and then scale if you're trying to do VC funding like venture capital or you're even trying to bootstrap, but you're trying to validate and you have a very specific look and feel and you want it to be stylized for your brand, I would go with Bravo. If I'm trying to move quickly, I want to have the power of of Airtable. I want to create different things like marketplaces and other things, I would go with softer. So in the chat down below, let me know what you're trying to create.